Hmm. The moon is all they're talking about in the States, too. Does no one care about anything else? There he is, chilling out back before the first bell. Not a care in the world. Reading a Hawaiian newspaper, casually picked up from Hawaii on the way here. Nice. Good work, Nagisa. Thanks. I owe you one. You're welcome. Best of luck, Tsukino. <laughs> Ten billion big, here I come. We are assassins. Our target is our teacher. Top of the morning to ya! <laughs> it's usually considered polite to reply. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Good morning, sir. A baseball embedded with government issue anti me BBs? Creative. Points for choosing a method of delivery quieter than the pop of a standard air rifle. Unfortunately, once airborne, the weapon gave me nothing but time. Ample opportunity, in fact, to organize a defensive maneuver. A quick visit to the equipment room, and ta da! I had, pardon the pun, a handy solution. <laughs> Tick tock, children. Graduation will be here before you know it. Right then, homeroom, if you would, please. Yes, sir. Damn it. Well, so much for my fastball. Big shock there, I guess. It was a good throw. すると気それが過去いいことしてるさ楽しみで僕らは最初から僕の今迷えどうするみんなの右足に一緒に出そうか何なんだイライラの波動は僕の存在を証明する月を見上げたかまる April is the cruelest month, breeding lilacs out of the dead land. Fixing what are the facts? Desire. This guy vaporized 70% of the moon and plans to destroy Earth in March. He can do it. The issue is how to stop him. Oh, and for some reason, before ending the world, he wants to teach a bunch of last chance junior high nobodies. The Ministry of Defense was quick to make the most of the situation. They gave us a mission. Kill our teacher? Save the planet. We're on board because the reward money is crazy. Ten billion crazy. Hey, hey, Nagisa. I heard that you and Tsukino's plan didn't go so well this morning. Mm. You could say that. Seems like it's really bothering him, too. Oh. What's there to get all bent out of shape about? I mean, it's not like any of us could have done better. Cultural familiarity has given The Japanese word for unkillable is Korosanai. So we've named our unkillable teacher Koro Sensei. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Sugaya! <laughs> Not a bad likeness, I'll give you that, but I'm a little hurt by the jawline. You don't have a jaw! That's lunch, people. If you'll excuse me, I have some important off campus business to attend to. Tofu from China? Actually, I'm catching a ball game in the Big Apple. Ciao! <laughs> He sure knows how to make an exit. I know. 
That thing is starting to get on my nerves. Talk about unfair. We're stuck here while he flies all over the world. He could at least bring souvenirs. Think about what he'd probably bring back. Are you that hard up for a mortar shell? I'm just saying an exotic snack would be nice. It's not like he has to sneak him through customs. You've obviously dedicated a lot of thought to this. So, hey, what's New York's chief export? I don't know, booze. Sucks we're not drinking, age. What about something greasy from one of those food trucks? Man, New York girls are hot. Especially the blondes. Oh, yeah. Damn, can you imagine if one came back with him as a transfer student. Oh, Mr. Karasama. Children, any progress on killing the tentacled menace? Define progress. <sighs> yeah, this is E-class, yo. You gotta lower your expectations. All due respect, sir. He's too quick. Like, so quick you can't even see him sometimes. You said so yourself. He tops out at Mach 20. How do we kill something like that? I don't know, but you kids had better figure it out. Seriously? Seriously, you're the only hope we've got. Uh. He teaches willingly, putting himself in the line of fire by choice. <sighs> if we allow that creature to live, come March, Earth will be totally annihilated. And, in case you need a reminder of how powerful he is, take a look at what's left of our moon. That'll be our planet in a year. In short, he's too dangerous to take lightly. That's why this classroom is the last stand between mankind and extinction. If you give a group of outcasts and misfits like us a chance to play hero, things are gonna get interesting, to say the least. Can we do it? It's a tall order, especially given everything we don't know about our target. We can't even say why Koro-sensei wants to blow up the planet in the first place. Let alone what he gets out of teaching us. There you are. This may come in handy. Thank you, Koro Sensei. Wait, what? What are you eating? A coconut I grabbed in Hawaii. Care for a bite? You shouldn't eat the husk. Solid throw yesterday, by the way. <laughs> yeah, right. Says the guy who could probably throw a ball faster and farther on accident than I'll ever be able to on purpose. Are you on a team? I used to be. And you're not any longer? They, uh, they kicked me off. Teams are only for D-class and above. We're here to get our grades back on track. Extracurricular stuff like sports isn't allowed. Sounds suspiciously like discrimination. I'd have gotten booted either way. Come on. You saw my pitch. I'm too slow. I never struck anyone out. I wound up benchwarming most of the season. I was so depressed I got just a slow hit in the books. That's why I got packed off here to the mountain. Sugino. Hmm? May I give you a friendly piece of advice? Need to make sure these get turned in. Uh, that's weird. What do they have to talk about? Holy crap! He's ticked off! He tried to kill him! Oh, and now he's literally up in arms! Please, sir, don't do this! Huh? He was just doing what he had to. The deal was you couldn't hurt any of us. <laughs> there it is. I thought I recognized that pitching style. You were imitating Major League pitcher Arita. <laughs> That's right. These tentacles don't lie. Your shoulders are significantly less flexible than your idols, I'm afraid. What exactly are you trying to say? that the famous Arita fastball that you were trying so hard to copy is simply never going to be your thing. <gasps> That's not fair. You don't know? How could you? That's ridiculous. You can't just... Look, don't worry about it. I get it. Why even bother? Hey, we're just E-class, right? We're just a bunch of losers and lost causes! You misunderstand me. I base this entirely on first-hand experience. First through eighth-hand experience? What is wrong with you? 
I even got his autograph. You actually asked him for an autograph after you assaulted him? <laughs> Unbelievable, right? He's right, he was though. So nice about it. Some of us are born with talent, some of us not so much. <laughs> talent is relative. Ariat has wrists and elbows aren't as flexible as yours. Like I said, these tentacles don't lie. Given enough time and practice, you could become just as good a player, if not better. And besides, why settle for being an invitation? Next time, try assassinating me in your own style. More flexible, huh? I never realized. How about that? My own style. Excuse me, sir! Hmm? Did you really fly all the way to New York? You know a piece of advice? Why not? I'm his teacher. Well, it's just that most teachers I know wouldn't go that far for a student. And I mean, here you are planning to blow up the planet by the time we graduate and all that. Nagisa, the details aren't important. Let's just say I'm here to make good on a promise. One I don't take lightly. The Earth will be destroyed, yes, but my first priority is to you and your classmates. Nothing beats giving you kids the credit you're due. Not even me blowing up the Earth. Koro-sensei... Could you maybe not write problems like this on the back of our test? <coughs> we get it, you're fast. No point being all weird about it, right? Aww. It's only a bonus question. Honestly, sir, it feels more like a penalty. Uh, yeah, well... Anyway, I hope my students take assassinating me as seriously as I take their education. Not that you'll ever pull it off, of course. Broke so fast I could barely see it! <laughs> All on the wrists and elbows. I'm perfecting a curveball that plays in my strengths. Between that and the changeup I'm working on, I've already got a half-decent arsenal. Nothing Koro-sensei can't see coming from a mile away, but what are you gonna do? I'm sticking with it, though. Perseverance is key. In baseball and assassination. With supersonic speed and, um, multitasking tentacles, Koro-sensei definitely has the advantage. Killing him won't be easy. Still. Can I bother you for a sec? I want to take a couple test shots at you, if that's okay. <laughs> Glutton for disappointment? He was such an awesome motivator. The kind of mentor who really knew how to light a fire in you. We were having, well, a ball with him. Hey, do you think that ice really comes all the way from the freaking North Pole? Why not? He hits up every other place on the map. Focus. Think of the money we're gonna split. Hmm. Koro Sensei! Hmm? I hope you brought enough shaved ice for all of us. Oh, are the children opening their hearts to me at last? Such beaming smiles! Such little savages! <laughs> Not the worst tactic you've tried, but your smiles were a bit too forced. I wasn't born yesterday, boys and girls. Now put away these silly anti-me knives and take a moment to stop and smell, if not the roses, then these lovely specimens. Are these from the flower bed? For your information, sir, we grew these lovely specimens from seed. No kidding? Why would you do something so mean? We've been waiting for them to bloom for months and now. I'm so sorry. Forgive me, children. Allow me to... Uh... Get your fresh bulbs! Don't plant them at Mach 20! No, of course not! Tulips need a delicate touch! Delicate, got it! Stop trying to impress He's going to a lot of trouble for a guy who's about to blow up the planet. Yeah. Kind of seems like a conflict of interest. What's with the sea urchin going all Earth Day on us? Oh, hey, Nagisa! Hmm? What you writing in your little book? It's a running list of all the chinks in Kurosensei's armor. A good assassin keeps tabs on his target's weak spots. Hmm. Wow. 
Is that kind of thing really a weakness? Mm. Nagisa wouldn't put it in there if it wasn't. Thank you. Every detail gives us an edge. Height, about three meters. Weight, lighter than he looks. Birth date, unknown. Weak points, unknown. What the hell is this? Doesn't seem like a lot to go on. Maybe not at the moment. The learning curve is steep. Most classes don't have murder on the syllabus. We are the exception. Then again, we are E-class. We're the exception, period. The Ministry of Defense appreciates your cooperation. My being brought in as the new PE teacher of Class 3E is unorthodox, we realize, but necessary. I'll be there chiefly to observe and to offer the students tactical advice. My teaching certificate is still valid, so that's something. You have my blessing, sir. Just see to it their education and safety come first. Thank you for your time, Principal. I figured we'd meet with more resistance. <laughs> He's being compensated handsomely for his trouble. All this seems rather convenient, if you ask me. A creature with godlike powers, untouchable, beyond the reach of the military, who wants to teach? Thankfully, we've kept it a secret. The principal is involved, and the E-class students. But as far as we can tell, no other civilians have a clue. I'm gonna die. Huh? This is the end of the world, man. For you? Stop screwing around and get those grades up, man. Have you seen the satellite campus? It's a nightmare. No cafeteria, no food, bathrooms look like something out of a horror movie, the kids are psychos, the teachers fear for their lives. Once you're there, you're basically done. Colleges won't touch your transcript with a ten-foot pole. I know, I know, dude. Whatever keeps me out of E-class, I'll do it. Surprise! Hooray! It's Goonadon! Hello, kiddos! That's correct! It's Goonadon, your school mascot! I'm gonna be telling you all about the sort of super amazing things we do here at Kunuki Gaoka Academy! Yay! Time-tested strategy. Single out a group as undesirable, and the rest will fall in line to avoid being one of them. Social engineering at its finest. Very effective. Makes our job a little easier than it might be otherwise. Say what you will. E-class is ideal for our purposes. Remote, secluded, full of ticking teenage time bombs. <laughs> hey, Mr. Karasimo, what are you doing here? New job assignment. As of tomorrow, I join the faculty as a PE teacher. Oh, that sounds cool. It should be fun, yes. Then I get to call you Professor Karasima from now on. So where exactly is your target now? Apologizing. He messed up the tulips we planted, so he reduced his speed, and he's letting us all take wax at him. Is he totally the coolest teacher ever, or what? A few more minutes of this, and all is forgiven, right? You're a very lucky class, I'll have you know. Not many teachers would put themselves in this position. So, uh, any luck yet? Uh, no. This is pretty much all a game to him. This is not what the Ministry of Defense has in mind. Wait, hang on a minute. There's bound to be a corresponding weakness. <laughs> Shoot and stab all you want, class! Even with this handicap, I am too fast for you! Only in your dreams do you have any hope of getting the deed done! Well, your notes are bound to come in handy at some point. Right. That's why I'm jotting everything down. My tentacles are all tangled up with the rope. This isn't what I had in mind. Stop it. Stop it, all of you. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, get back down here. <laughs> What's the matter, children? Can't jump this high? Oh, wait. Of course not. <laughs> oh, man, we were so close. <laughs> Guess who's earned themselves extra homework? No fair! <laughs> Where's he going? We're getting closer to a solution. I can feel it. Keep this up and it's only a matter of time before we got him. <laughs> <laughs> A 
a bunch of junior high kids keyed up about killing? Strangest class ever. So what do you think? Do we have a decent chance? Oh yeah, no doubt. At least I hope so, or it's gonna be a really awkward graduation ceremony. It's a funny thing. The system's given up on these this kids. Cool. And look at them. <laughs> They've got so much positive energy. So much purpose. <laughs> As you can see, our situation is a desperate one. Needless to say, this information is shared in the strictest confidence. Break the non-disclosure clause, and you will be subject to a memory wipe. Yikes. Your fellow classmates have already been debriefed. They've done their best, but so far to no effect. Once your suspension has ended, you'll report to E-Class and assess the situation. From there, you are authorized to proceed as you see fit. Whatever. You expect me to take him down with this? Seriously? Correct. That knife, while harmless to humans, is designed specifically with your target in mind. Huh. Human? Not human? Doesn't matter to me. Either way, I'm good. Should be a lot of fun. I've always wanted to kill me a teacher.